hello friends in this more in this video we will be discussing about heel slab in the previous videos we have discussed about stem between the counterforce and the toe slab so first step is what are the forces will be applicable on the heel slab here we can see the pressure and the weight of the soil in the toe slab we have applied only the pressure not the weight of the soil as the toe slab the load de it depends whether the soil is soil is available over he toe toe or not so we are consider we are we have designed for the safer side if the soil will not be there in the heel pressure we have already calculated the pressure over here so we will be applying the these pressure for the stud model let's start with the stud model new project heel slab face next add beam finish so we are making the model in the xz plane the similar way in z direction we are considering as 3.5 in the x direction we are considering as 2.5 and in the z direction we have considering as 3.5 we can check in the toe model as well so here is it is the toe model so we will be seeing the dimension this is in 2.5 this is 2 so we are making the similar kind of model as we are designing the same so now we will be adding the plate now we'll be adding the surface we going for the quadrilateral and we are quadrilating this and we are going for this only okay now we'll be adding the supports create add use okay let's choose the notes on which it will be applicable here and uh, here attain to the oh, Support assigned to the selected box. Yes, assigned. Assigned to the selected box. Assigned. Now assigned to the. Yes. Now we will see whether we have applied in a norm. Yes, we have applied in this direction as the stem will be here. now we'll be providing the thickness which is 0.3 add close assign to view as we are for of this close now we need to uh, now we need to apply the loads so we'll be going for the load page there are two type of load which will be applicable first the weight of the soil over heel we need to calculate the pressure because of the weight of the soil and second will be the pressure first weight add plate load 
and it is the pressure on all over the plate how to calculate the weight of the soil in the pressure terms which is which will be the height into the density of the soil so height is uh, 6.5 to minus 6.3 which is 6.22 6.22 multiplied with the 20 which is 128.4 so here we will be applying 128.4 in the direction of global y and we are applying it in the downward direction so we will be taking the negative sign add close the here we will assign to view because we are applying for the all the numbers. pressure add so now we will be applying the plate pressure hydrostatic loading as we have already selected the plates we have we will be selecting all the plates done now what is the pressure 86.62 to 87.622 96 point zero seven zero seven interpolation will be done in the z direction and the direction of pressure will be of the global y now add close so now we will see whether the load application is okay yes it is now we can see here it is 0.88 and here it is 0.96 which is okay because of uh, here uh, the stem will be there and the load is more over here so this is perfectly okay and now we will see this weight also as well here it is weight over the soil which is working in the downward direction so now we'll, we can do the analysis print ok close analyze run analysis save so here there is no error no warning no notes so now we will be seeing the pressure diagrams Okay, we will be seeing for both the things. Okay, first we are going for the MX, apply, close. So, here you can see MX is neg maximum negative, MX is 62, 63, and 65 over here. This side it is attracting. The same will be attracting over here 66 and uh, the positive will be maximum over here somewhere 33 34 34 and 35 somewhere over here and in the y direction it will be c the pressure of y then it will be maximum over here minus 6 and uh, positive maximum over here 30 which is 30.554 so this is the way we can calculate the moments for which we can design the reinforcement so here we have discussed about the heel slab toe slab and the counterforts between the counterforts stem so in the next video we will be discussing about the moment for which the reinforcement will can be designed for these elements thank you so much for the guys for the watching the video and uh, your comments